Bum 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 bum. So guys, um, as you know, in the last video, I told you I had melanoma. So um, I've been lucky enough to get um, some new sunscreen. Uh, most people get SPF 30 or 50, I think is around now. But because um, I'm one of the lucky ones, I'll go and put on my sunscreen. It's SPF 62,500. So it's, uh, it's brilliant. So I'll go and put it on and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm back. So as you can see, it's really good stuff. There's no way known the sun will penetrate me. SPF 62,500. Get yourself sun if you're worried about sunburn or melanoma. So you can see the time on the clock. It's 4.18. I've got my first find down here in the water. It looks like a big earring, big bit of bling. Don't know if it's gold or not. It's huge. Probably not, but um, it's still a bit dark. It's the first thing in the morning, so we'll see how we go. We'll clean it up later. So it's been a while since the last find, but I've been joined now by some birds, bird friends. Having a bit of a squawk there. So we'll keep going. All we've got so far is a big earring and a bit of foil. So it looks pretty clean. Look at the time again, 4.48. Right on 20 minutes since my last find, and uh, here it is here, down about six inches. Hasn't been there long. 20 cent piece, so uh, we'll be happy with that. You can see the beach is starting to fill up now. It's about 5.30 and there's a few people around. And in this hole here, it's been there a fair while. It's changed its color, but it's uh, five cents, Australian five cents. So down about six, eight inches. So we didn't get a lot of coins down the beach. I was very surprised. And I thought, well, it's a beautiful morning too early to go home. But what I did find down the beach, the best find was this big earring. Um, it's either gold or gold plated. I have to clean it up and see if there's any markings on it, but it's got a bit of weight to it. And uh, it looks nice anyway. So that's probably the best find I had. And just a couple of small coins down the beach. And that was two hours at the beach. So that was hard jack at walking up and down. Not finding much, but this park here, we're not going to dig anything deep, we're just going to look for basically coins just under the surface or on the surface. So I'll come back to you with a okay, good signal here 1224. It's normally a 20 cent piece or a 50 cent piece. So we'll try a live dig and we'll see how we go. We found it, it's not a coin, it's actually. Um, I think it's just junk jewellery, but um, it's a little pendant that's broken off something, so we will clean that up later and have a look. So this hole here was a 12.37, it's two bucks, and uh, it was down about four inches, so I thought they'd be a lot closer to the surface, but it could be top dressed this park, but happy with two bucks. And just near the other one, which was just there, four foot away, We've got another 12.37, I'm pre presuming it's another two bucks, so we'll see how we go. And there we are, that's four, two bucks. Uh, it looks like um, this bank might be a bit of a hot spot because four foot away from the last one, we've got 11.37 again. So I reckon it's gonna be another two bucks. We'll get it out and show you. And there it is, two bucks on the spade. This bank's proving really good. There's another two bucks. Popped out of the hole, another 11.37. We found more here in 10 minutes than we found on the beach in two hours. There you go. Cover that back up and no one even knows what bank. 
a little deeper in this one, probably four or five inches down. But the same result. Another, another two dollars. And uh, over here, reading at twelve twenty-five is a little sinker, lead sinker. So Beachside Park farmer has been practicing. So here we go. In a fairly shallow hole here. You can see I just popped out an inch, and there's a twenty cent piece. 2004. And in the sun, you can see its mark where it was sitting. Sitting nicely there. And another two bucks. So this park's really full of gold coins, which is great. I've only covered a tiny little area of it and I've already picked up 10 bucks. And you're probably getting bored with this now, all these $2 coins, but there's another one just popped out. So, guys, back home now. Um, Beach was a little bit disappointing, but the park certainly had plenty of gold coins, so uh, Aussie gold coins, so not real gold, but um, still good at the beach. I'll just go through with you what we got. Started off the other day, I was in the school park, and I don't know if you'll see this on the video or not. We got a sinker, we got a 20 cents, a 50 cents, and a couple of bullets. One's quite, quite big and quite heavy, so that'd be Second World War. Today on the beach, we got 25 cents. And we got this earring. I think it's just gold plated. I can't see anything on it. So I'm pretty sure it's just um, cheap jewellery. And then in the park, which we just spent um, an hour before we came home, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven two dollar coins. A little bit of junk jewellery, sinker, and 20 cents. So we got $14.20. So 14.45 for the morning, plus um, a couple of bits of jewellery. So anyway, as you can see, beautiful day, beautiful morning. Where else would you want to be without metal detecting? So catch you on the next one. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Please like, comment, and subscribe. That would be brilliant. Thanks very much. Dig me some gold, bum, 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 bum. some silver jewelry, as long as it's old. Bum, 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 bum. Treasure coins and relics too. Aussie Sandman, please can you?